Welcome, lemon pepper salmon cooking. This is Army cooking, huh? All right, my name is Sergeant Lambert. We're gonna make this happen right now. We're gonna have lemon pepper salmon. That's our mission, 25th Inch Division. Hurrah, lemon bravo, that's what I'm talking about. First order, here we got some salmon meat. Yes, that is fish, that is real fish cut fresh so I can get it out of the ocean. I cooked it yesterday with my teeth in the water. Oh, well, if I eat it raw, some of you do, but guess what, I'm in America, we don't eat this thing raw. There's another piece, if you like it, guess what? You're gonna like it either way. First things first, let's get some butter in the pan. Guess what? I don't cook nothing without butter. Without butter, I can't move. See this, this is butter. That's how you put it in. Let's warm it up. I got butter right here. Guess what? Not this fake crap that you get from the grocery store. Let me show you what I'm talking about. For your yanks out there, guess what? This is not butter. It might say butter spread or what have you, but I guarantee you, this is not butter. Matter of fact, you have a little bit more to it and you got what? Plastic, what it's made out of. Guess what? You know, that ain't gonna taste good to you. I don't even know what I got it for. Let's find out. It's gone. All right, next. This right here is what you call butter. Butter, coming from a cow. See that there? You can't get much better than that. Let's get out of the way. This is my stick of butter as well. I am gonna sit here, I'm gonna sit here and grease the pan. Yes, I said grease, but guess what? Butter's just as good. <laughs> now that I got my butter in the pan everywhere I can get it. Now, we're gonna put this inside, and guess what? We're gonna use the whole stick of butter. Cause why? I like butter. Now, next thing's gonna be seasoned salt. Without seasoned salt, you can't cook nothing that tastes good. And if you do, guess what? I'm not gonna eat it. All right, we're gonna take some of this, and well, you know what? Somebody said use your measuring cups. Well, guess what? This is my measuring cup. Yes, sir. All right, take this right here, put it in the pan. Put as much as you want. I don't care if you like a lot of salt. Guess what? Good for you. This is what I want. Let's put this in here. All you're gonna do is you wanna spread it out as best you can, because guess what? If not, in one spot, that fish is gonna taste really salty. That's all right, you know what? I like salt too. Next thing I have, lemon pepper. Guess what? You can't have lemon pepper salmon without what? Lemon pepper. Let me tell you something. If you ain't never had lemon pepper before, you better get it, because guess what? It tastes good. Yes, Robin, I'm talking to you. All right, now, lemon pepper. It can't be strong. You don't want to put it in one spot, because if you do, guess what? You're going to ruin your whole entire salmon. I guarantee you. You know why? Because I've done it before. Huh. All right, you're going to spread that out in your pan. Let's get a look. Oh, Lord, look at that. <laughs> All right, now we put a little bit on there. Well, you want to ask me why do I just put a little bit on that pan, right? Well, guess what? My pan's warming up because you don't want to put salmon on a cold pan and warm it up slowly. You know why? You lose all the juice out of the fish. And dry fish, guess what? Don't taste good, private. All right, here we go. You got your salmon. All right, you're going to put it on one side of the pan. All right, you're going to take the other piece of salmon. And you're going to put it on the pan. All right, now we got the salmon in the pan warming up on one side. You got your butter in there. Guess what? The salmon's gonna start soaking up all this nice juices and all the butter on that one side. Get about, I give it about a minute. All right? Let that salmon sit in that pan like that right there and cook for about a minute. What can I do in a minute? Well, guess what? I can drop and do push ups. Let's do some push ups, punk. Let's go. One, two, Guess what? I ain't doing a minute because I just got through working out while I go. All right, let's get back to our fish. Now, been about a minute, the fish is inside. Once you look inside, it's gonna start turning a little white in the bottom of the fish. All right, when that happens, guess what? Time to flip it over to get the juice on this side going into it. Right? Right. Not happening. Guess what? I've almost forgot a step. Now, we got this side of the fish. Guess what? What is it? Red. That's right. But it's not soaking. When that's soaking, I take my what? Butter! Yes, real butter! You take it, you put it on the salmon, rub it in. Yes, I said rub it. 
But you know what else out there? You have no idea what it means by rubbing in the butter. All right. It's an infantry thing, huh? All right. So you want to rub that all over your salmon because your salmon's a lot of warm right now. And what that's going to do is guess what? That's going to butter this side of the salmon because you don't want both sides not being buttered. It won't taste right. Trust me. All right, now that we got the butter all over that son of a gun, what do we do with this little piece of butter that's left over? That was a whole stick. Put it in the pan! What? Because we like butter, private! All right, now, now that we got the salmon out of the way, getting cooking, what do we do? We want to put the seasoning on it again, because why? This side ain't got none yet. All right. Oh, did I blow your mind, private? Guess what? Drop it, give me 50! <laughs> All right, lemon pepper, here we go. What did I say about that? If you ain't tried it, you better try it, because it's good. All right, now, we're gonna open it. Let me tell you something. You got two different sides of this thing. You got the girly side, no offense, women, because you're awesome out there. Some of you can kick my butt. All right, Joe Sark, you know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. This side here, if you see, there's a spoon, and there's a couple of little holes. Guess what? Those little holes? are for privates who can't do nothing but go whine, whine, whine to little mamas because they got their feelings hurt. Well, guess what? Get over it, private! All right, here you go. Here's this big spoon right here. Guess what? That big spoon right there is what we use. Men! And, well, women and men! Huh? All right, here we go. Now, open the big spoon. See the big hole? Yes, big hole. We put that on our salmon now. Just better leave it on there. Yes, sir. Now remember what I said, you put too much of this stuff, guess what, you're gonna regret it. But you know what, it's okay, cause all you gotta do is put it in the sink and rinse it off when it cooks. And it comes right off, trust me, I know, cause I've done it before. Yes, leave by example. Now, next thing you'll have is season salt. Like I said earlier, remember we already did this to the pan before, right? Yes, we did. Now, second thing, again, little curly hole right there. No offense, women, like I said, tell me y'all kick my butt. Who? Please don't. All right, and then you got the big hole, your spoon. Guess what? That's what we're gonna use. If you lose, if you lose, okay, if you use the little small holes, I'm gonna spread this down for you, private. Listen up, come here, close, listen to me now. If you use the little holes, private, you're not gonna get all the season out you're gonna get just a little bit of seasoning and some of it's not gonna be all mixed right. So you're gonna end up with a lot more salt than you will with the rest of the gear and it still goes in there. I have no idea what's in this seasoned salt. All I know is it tastes good like an MRE. Me love and gravy. Move four styles, 51, grab a hold up, pull it out. Hey, it's in the B box, that's what I'm talking about. Some of y'all soldiers know what I mean. Right, private? Ugh. All right, now, let's put our seasoned salt down here. Again, you just spread a little bit on there. Because you don't want to overdo this neither, because guess what? You've already got butter in there, and guess what? The butter's going to taste a little salty. All right, you got lemon pepper. All right, did it say anything about salt and lemon pepper? No, it didn't. It said lemon and pepper. You know what I mean? Yes, the orange round thing, private. Now, holy crap, you're educated. Educate yourself. Do 50. <laughs> All right, now. We got that out of the way. Now we're gonna sit here. Yes, we've been letting it cook, haven't we? You're smarter than I thought you were. Let's turn the heat up this thing here. Now, if I had some cast iron pots, like people should have in the South, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I do, mama. All right. Now, you put your cast iron pot on here, you warm it up, guess what? You turn it back down low heat, because that son of a gun will cook like a daggum is on hot. All right? It's good that way. I don't know why I don't have cast iron except in the garage. I want to use that. We're outside. Yes, you see that? That's what I'm talking about. Outside. Yeah. All right. Some of y'all need to get out there and do some push-ups. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, now we got our season going on here. You see out there good stuff right there? Yes, sir. Now, I'm about to show you. Yes, I use my hands when I cook. If that bothers you, guess what? Get over it, private, because you ain't eating my food anyway. Ooh. All right. Holy private, where's my daggum tongs? Where'd he go? No, I said tongs, not thongs, but you know what? I wore them for, and they're comfortable. Pick on me if you want. Do 50. Ooh. Look at there. 
Where's my tongs? Yes, I told you, I had some tongs. You know what I mean? All right. Now, we got our tongs out, because I don't know about y'all, I might be infantry and I might be hardcore, but you know what? These fingers are not made to get burnt. No, they're not. They made to hold and love and cherish and skull drag privates from one side of the room to the other, if you know what I mean. Private, all right. Now, we got a fish going on over here. Hey, Sergeant Fugit, if you're watching this, you know what I mean when I saw my school pride draw, school driving privates, don't you? Because we done some. Matter of fact, what the awesome privates once a time? Yes, we there. All right, I hope you're watching this because I guarantee you're going to like it. All right. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, he's a damn good soldier. Who? All right. Now, you see this side right here? It ain't cooked yet. Starting to. Now, for some of y'all, I um, got two different types of salmon in here, and they're gonna taste different. I got what you call fresh cut salmon from the Dagnum Ocean, which worked its way up, and guess what? They come in fresh water. Holy crap, did you know that? Yes, they do. They go up the stream and they Dagnum spawn. Yeah, guess what? I just gave you a Natural Geographic Discovery Channel thing. Holy crap, do not sue me, because I know you got right penny. All right, my bad. Now, I got another type of salmon in here, which unfortunately, Ugh, I don't want to see this. I went to the Sam Club. Therefore, all right. Now, I think Mama just called me. And I just hung up on you. So do me a favor, Mama. Please don't score tag me. Stop. All right. So, trust me. I might be embarrassing myself, but you know what? I'm having fun doing this. And if people got a problem with that, it's all right. Holy crap, I think my own daughter is sitting here picking on me. So. What? Alright. Hey, I'm having fun, okay? And a lot of people might not understand that, but it is what it is. They might be watching, might not be watching me, it's okay. Now, for y'all who've never cooked salmon for and fish, this is what you call a spatula. Yes, alright? Yeah, use this multi tool here, alright? Us military guys know exactly what we mean by multi-tool, all right? So, hey, it's called an e-tool. We can make it work, all right? Now, you don't want to sit here and cook your salmon and not use something like this when you flip it over because if you do, your salmon's going to fall apart, all right? So, all we're going to do now is we're going to sit here and cook our salmon, get it daggum cooked up. And unfortunately, I don't have no magical power to make it go by faster. So... All I'm gonna say is now you see what I did. You cook your salmon to whatever you like it to be cooked at. All right, and once it's cooked up, then you're good. Now, I recommend cooking it just to where uh, you can't see much pink. There's a very little pink in the middle. Once you've done that, guess what? You take out the salmon. You don't want to cook it till it gets down in dirt brown or whatever. Because once you do that, you cooked out all the seasoning in it and all the juices and like that. You well, you're gonna get a lot of salt. And like I said, I like salt, but not that much. All right. So, I'm telling you right now, cook up your salmon, because I'm not going to keep you here and sit here and yell at you, Dad Gum, and you ain't going to see my ugly mug anyway for the next 15 minutes. All right? I know you don't want to see that. So, I'm going to tell you, because I might have been told to get off already. I'm a daughter over here. Yes. <laughs> mm. So, my thing is, you cook your salmon to whatever type of taste, to whatever flavor you like. You can use multiple different things. All right? But I'm telling you right now, cook the salmon gun up to whatever your liking is. When it's cooked up, you want to flip the other side over, very gently putting this underneath your salmon with your tongs, all right? You flip it over very easily. Once you've done that, you won't sit there and the salmon won't fall apart on you, all right? Because if it falls apart on you, I guarantee you, it's going to suck, all right? Because you're going to have a bunch of pieces of salmon everywhere. And let me tell you something. Unless you're making yourself a whole bunch of salmon salad, it ain't going to work out, all right? So, cook that up to whatever you want. Leave it on medium heat and then work your way down because if you do, it won't burn it like that. It's gonna taste real good. Now, what you don't know, I'm cooking this with some uh, daggum rice, all right? And I lived in Hawaii for a long time. I'm telling you right now, I got addicted to rice and rice is good, all right? And it's healthy for you too. So get out there and do a lot of running and that rice is perfect for you, like I did today, because I did daggum how many miles? Five miles with a rucksack on my back. Let me see you do that, who? All right, so we're talking about. Infantry never dies, who? All right, so my thing is, thank you for watching my show. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, like it. If not, guess what? It's all right because I got it live anyway. I can't take it down. So my point is, enjoy the meal. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. I'm crazy. I'm aware of that. But guess what? This is my personality, and I'm feeling really good about it. But you know what? Also, I'm 11 Bravo, and we don't care. It's out. Who?